Hello and welcome to this little tutorial video on the task for downloading data. So for example in this military HQ I have set up a laptop on a table and if I would like this uh, uh, if I would like a little uh, task where I need to download data from the laptop I do have a task to make this a little bit easier on you rather than having to make your own things. So go into correct mission folder and then scripts, Neki tasks, and then we're going to go into run.sqf. And then we're going to scroll down until there we go, download data. So we're going to get going on this. Let's just uh open up a bracket task type number four so we're entering a four just because it says so and then parameters so another open bracket and task name typical uh, unique task name download data and then we're gonna do task description the usual download um, you, I was about to say or type porn in there, but I don't know. Download <laughs> data from uh, laptop at military HQ, and then we're gonna call it download. Oh, sorry. Let's go back here. The title, so the visible title of the task, download data. That's what I typically use. And close bracket. And then the next one is the destination where the task will be placed on the map. It can be X, Y, Z, or marker. So, if you want to use the exact position, you can uh, place a marker on this very HQ. If you don't want to be super specific, you can place a marker uh, over there if you want to. Or if you just want to be something like this, like download date, and you can put it slightly on the side here, and you can like log position to clipboard. Then, since I right click there, log position, I'm going to get this very position. So I can paste it in there and it's going to be the task on the map will be placed right there. Uh, so let's go with that. And next, oh sorry, I can see here, one, two, three, three. This doesn't work, Neko. Learn to count, damn it. Okay, and this one was eight. I had two threes and I had an eight. Oh, what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> let's just keep going. Number four object the object you are attaching the download data add action to okay so the object uh, that would be the laptop this is where we're gonna put the add action so this is the one we're downloading data from I've already given it a lane name laptop one so let's do that right here um, object the object you're attaching the download data to yeah and it needs to be in a string so quotation marks and laptop one uppercase lowercase doesn't matter it's gonna recognize it anyhow uh, the name of the ad action uh, download data I think it will default to that if you type not if you don't type anything but uh, let's just keep doing download data time the time it takes to download the data and this is in seconds by the way might be worth mentioning in seconds good um, so let's say 10 seconds that's a really quick download and code code to be executed on task completion this task is only succeed there's no failing to this task the past variable is uh, true basically it has succeeded and I don't really know why I'm passing that variable but it does uh, the code will be executed on the server only, but I don't feel like putting in something you can do something like um, We could chain another task with this like I did in the reach area task tutorial uh, but uh, Let's not do that right now so we're just gonna do nil and then close the brackets and then Let's do the spawn bit. There we go. So now we have all of the code there. Let's cut this out. Let's go into the init sqf file of my naked tasks script. Let's 
go into a new line here and download data. So now we're done with this task. Let's just uh, back up, save the mission, play scenario, select rifleman, group leader, doesn't matter. And now when we're in the briefing screen, we can see we have a download data task that's been placed there on the side of the military HQ, so I guess it's not super precise because I, that's where I put it. It's my own fault. Uh, it's all up to the editor if you want to be precise. I've been able to just, or I have in some cases, put it like in the middle of uh, a compound or a base or an FOB um, just to say that somewhere in here it is possible to download data, but not necessarily right where the marker or task is. Okay, so we're in the mission. Let's just run up to this military HQ. And let's get inside. Let's get to the PC or laptop. Scroll wheel. Download data. So now when I'm downloading data, you can see the hint in the top right. If I look away at this point, it's going to stop downloading data. So the one downloading the data needs to focus on the PC for it or the laptop or the object you're downloading from in order for it to w complete the download. So, just standing here for a moment. And you have downloaded the data. So that took 10 seconds. The task is completed. And there you can see it's finished and it's gone from the map, of course, because that's how Arma does it. Um, that's that. That's really all there's to the download data task. It's uh, simple to put in, very quick, uh, reliable. Thank you for watching and I hope the script's useful for you. See you in the next one.